Hello, welcome to BBC News. Officials in Indonesia say at least 60 people have been killed and nearly 600 injured after a tsunami struck several beaches around the Sunda Strait. It's thought the tsunami may have been triggered by a normal tidal surge and an underwater landslide following an eruption on the volcanic island of Anak Krakatoa. The BBC's Indonesia editor, Rebecca Henschke, gave us the details. Another disaster for this area that is no stranger to these kinds of events. Authorities are now getting a fuller picture of the kind of devastation. We're seeing images of these beach towns along the coast of West Java, closest to the Sunda Strait. And this is an area that is popular with local tourists. So we're seeing images of water that rushed into hotels and restaurants on the beach last night. A lot of the towns there are made of uh, wood and bamboo, tin roofs, so those houses have collapsed. We're seeing a lot of rubble there, as well as some cars that have been washed off. People have been evacuated from the area. Those that fled last night are now sleeping in mosques, uh, a higher ground, and authorities are trying to reach the area, uh, setting up community kitchens so that people can get some food, and medical teams are heading to the area. Area. There are places, though, in, in Lampung and the Sumatran side of the strait that still haven't been able to contact. So officials are warning that uh, the death toll uh, could definitely rise. There does appear to be a link, at least by some of the words coming out of the authorities, that the Krakatoa system of volcanoes could be to blame for this incident. That's right. Anak Krakatoa is erupting at the moment. It sits in the Sunda Strait, so we are seeing images of, of lava and smoke coming out of it, quite dramatic images last night. And the National, the National Disaster Agency spokesperson, Satupo Nugroho, said that he believes that some underwater landslide may have been triggered by this volcanic eruption in the strait that then triggered the tsunami. It was also high tide last night with a full moon, he said, that could have contributed to the huge waves that then hit the beaches. This Anna Krakatoa is sits in the strait and it's emerged from the ocean half a century after Krakatoa, the famous volcano, erupted in 1883. Now that's one of the most deadliest and renowned volcanic, volcanic eruptions, I should say, uh, in recent history. And because of the nature of that um, phenomenon, was there a clear warning given or, as some reports seem to suggest, this once again caught Indonesians by surprise? There wasn't a warning about this. I mean, there was some eruptions, but not major eruptions from the volcano. There are many active volcanoes that are watched across this archipelago. There was another confusion last night about whether a tsunami had been triggered uh, with the disaster agency withdrawing the tsunami warning and then saying that, in fact, it had hit the area. So there are some quite uh, questions, hard questions being being asked of the authority at the moment about its monitoring systems. At the same time, Indonesia well ready to deal with a disaster like this, and they are deploying uh, medical teams and disaster agency workers to the area. But many questions once again about how ready this country is for these inevitable natural disasters that seem to be hitting the country one after another. A little earlier, I spoke to Oystein Lund Andersen, who was on a beach when the wave struck. Well, uh, I was uh, photographing uh, the erupting Krakatau volcano, and uh, uh, suddenly I just saw a quite huge wave come towards me, uh, bigger than normal. So I saw within a few seconds that I had to, to get out of there, so I ran. I ran uh, quite far. Uh that was the first wave. Right. And just tell us which beach you were on at this point. Which, which, where were you located at this moment? Uh, the, I was uh, located at the Anjer Beach on uh, West Java. That's around 47 kilometers from the erupting volcano. And were you able to witness how far inland the water went? The first, the first wave, it was two waves. So the first wave maybe went 15, 20, 25 meters in. 
and uh, then uh, maybe two, one, two minutes later, the second wave came, and then that maybe went 50, 60 meters inland. And is it possible to estimate the height of the wave, the depth of the wave, the amount of water coming in? I don't know, maybe, I don't know, two meters maybe? I don't know, right. difficult to tell. I was, I was standing on the second floor or something when, when the second wave hit. There have been violent clashes in Paris during a sixth weekend of Yellow Jacket demonstrations. 